Welcome back to another episode of Jason's Bricks in 5, where I discuss LEGO content in videos of 5 minutes or less. Well, 2022 is coming to a close with the new year soon upon us. And first off, I just want to send a huge thanks to all my subscribers and viewers. Um, I'm amazed and overwhelmed by the amount of support. Um, I never thought I'd get so many people, especially so quickly. And so first, I just want to say thank you as we start into the new year. Now, I know right now is a time where a lot of people are giving their opinions of what, what the top sets or their list. And I figured, well, since we're bricks in five, let's go ahead and give uh, my top five. Um, now, the criteria that I've used in setting out this list is it has to be a set that came out in 2022, and it has to be a set I built. So there's plenty of great sets that came out this year, but I just haven't built. Uh, Eiffel Tower, uh, Motorized Lighthouse, I think those are great. Um, but I haven't actually done those. So these are sets that I've actually built. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So coming in at number five, I have the Disney Haunted Mansion. Now this one is going to be the smallest of the group, and this might be a surprise to some people, but I think this is actually a very great build. Um, you know, it is this mini scale. And the reason that I put this one here is, number one, I think it's a great value. It's only $40. And if you're a Disney fan, especially a Disney Parks fan, I think it's a great build. Um, even if you're not a Lego fan, I can see this being something that is really iconic. People can see it and they'll know exactly what it is, as well as the fact that there's lots of great little details just in the small build that reference the ride. So that's what I have at number five. At number four, we have the DeLorean Time Machine from Back to the Future. Um, I think this is a great build. Um, I know lots of people have loved this. One of the things that I think is the neatest about it is that you can set this up in uh, one of three versions. You can have it as the original movie. You can have it as Back to the Future 2, which I have here. That's generally how I display it. And then there's you know the um, option where you can um, do the Back to the Future 3 with the time circuit. It's got a couple of great minifigures and just a lot of um, you know iconic things in here. Uh, they really did a great job capturing the set. So this is what I have at number four. Coming in at number three, we have the UCS Razor Crest. This is definitely going to be the biggest set on the list this year. And I think as far as UCS sets, this has got to be one of the top ones, especially recently. Um, it's a great build. It's got some really great minifigures, especially a couple of exclusive ones. Plus it's built in minifig scale with an interior. Not all of the UCS sets have that. So I think that is one of the great things about this set. Um, you know, one of the drawbacks is it is very expensive, but it is a great build and a good experience. So that's number three. For set number two, we need to travel all the way up to Scranton, Pennsylvania to Dunder Mifflin and the set of The Office. This is definitely one of the top sets this year. I know lots of people have really loved it. Something that I think is great for Lego fans as well as fans of The Office, which I love the show watched it many times and i think that what really sets this apart is all of the minifigures it's so neat to get so many figures in one set i do know there's the drawback of we don't have andy we don't have aaron or, or jan but i think the set is awesome with the figures we do get and i think they did a great job of capturing just all of those little uh, easter eggs and and hidden details so that brings us to my top set for 2022 um, might be a little bit of a surprise, but I picked this one uh, really based on a lot of details as far as the look and the overall build technique I thought were quite interesting. And it is Starry Night by Van Gogh. I think they did a wonderful job of capturing the essence of the painting. Plus, the building techniques were just quite different than any of the other builds that I have. You, you start by building outwards, then you build up. Um, some people could say that this background is a little tedious. However, it just has to be this way in order to capture all of these blues and, you know, the artwork that's in here. Plus, you come with that one great minifigure of Vincent Van Gogh painting Starry Night right here in front of the big image. And I think it's great. You can put it on a shelf. You can hang it on a wall. There's lots of options for this. So this is my favorite set that I've built from 2022. Uh, let me know what you think. If you agree, disagree, just curious, you know, what sets you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in 2023 on Jason's Bricks in 5. <laughs>